Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the course on communication skills, business communication. This is Dr. Mahesh B. Shinde, course coordinator, course teacher. In previous lessons, we have talked about the importance of communication, origin, definition. In lesson 2, we discussed about the characteristics of communication, levels of communication. Third lesson focused on the elements of communication, communication cycle and the fourth lesson focused on the verbal method of communication. In lesson 5, we are going to discuss about the non-verbal method of communication and the in lesson 5 and the objectives of this lesson are understand the importance of non-verbal communication, learn various forms of non-verbal communication and know various tips for using non-verbal communication effectively. So, this lesson, this particular topic non-verbal will be divided in multiple lessons ahead because talking on all the non-verbal aspects is not possible to cover up in the short period. So, before I begin, let us uh, talk on, uh, let us take a reflection spot and focus on the matters that is the non-verbal communication, how much it matters. Just pause the video and think on what percentage of message is conveyed or interpreted through words and non-verbal signals when you communicate. Let me explain, just take your past one year's experience or let us say not of one year, let us say your one month's experience or two months experience and try to differentiate or try to find out the percentage of communication when you were communicated, what percentage of your message was conveyed by your words and what percentage of the message was conveyed by your non-words, non-verbal things. Or when you listen someone, what percentage of the message you understand by the words that person is using or how much you understood, understood the message by that person's facial expressions, body language, eye contact, signals and so on. So, the percentage, verbal how much and non-verbal how much. So, you can pause the video and come up with the percentage. So, verbal may be 50 percent, non-verbal 50 percent. Of course, some should be 100. So, you can come up with any variations. Hope you have got. So, there are number of studies worldwide on this complex topics, whether verbal communication conveys more messages or non-verbal communication. That is, communication is conveyed more through words or through non-words, some other signals. Most of the experts say or agree that almost 70 to 90 percent of all communication is non-verbal in nature. I know you must have come up with the different, the opposite one, verbal more and non-verbal less, but to our surprise, it is absolutely opposite. Most well-known study by Dr. Mehrabian in 1960s and in this study says, it is said that according to him, 90 percent of the communication is non-verbal in nature. What Dr. Mehrabian says that around 90 percent of your communication is non-verbal in nature. Only 7 percent is words and this is the pie chart given by Dr. Mehrabian, where you can see the first that is the non-verbal, uh, sorry, words. All right. So, the words, let me show you, words through words, we just communicate 7 percent. Body language or non-verbal communication, it is almost 55 percent and 38 percent, it is paralinguistic features. Now, what is paralinguistic features? It is all about our voice, quality, loudness of voice, softness of voice, then pronunciation, articulation and all that is nothing, tone, pitch, speed, everything is about paralinguistic. That is why that is also a kind of non-verbal communication. How? Suppose I want to instruct some students. So, if I say, students, please keep calm, they will not listen. But if I raise my voice, students, please keep calm. Or again, opposite to that, students, I see many of you are speaking. So, that may convey that teacher is angry and students will understand. So, that is, but the words are only 7 percent, whereas non-verbal communication is more than 93 percent. That is why non-verbal communication is very important in the communication process. Let us move ahead and uh, uh, see the non-verbal communication and its definition. Just I will talk about uh, it uh, simply, simply defined communication without words, right. So, when we talk about non-verbal communication, it is communication without words, then with what we are going to see. But most of the time, when we use the term non-verbal communication, it is mostly misunderstood with facial expressions. But it is not only facial expressions, it is a very vast domain of study and many number of things are involved in this. As we have seen earlier, appearance, 
kinesics, oculistics, haptics, proxemics, chronomics, paralinguistics, some others and the silence. These are the aspects of nonverbal communication and we are going to discuss all of them in detail in our further lessons. So, let us start with the appearance, how appearance matters. So, just uh, I hope you agree with this quote and uh, you also must have experienced this either in your own case or you must have used this for interpreting some other people's that is people see before they hear. Can you can you think on this and can you tell me what exactly uh, this quote means people see before they hear you. Let me give example suppose you go for a seminar and you are sitting in the audience on the dais on the stage there is no one so you are busy with your friend to talk about the program talk about each other and so on but as soon as a person comes on the stage a person very stout well heighted coming in three piece middle age specs on the eyes well combed hair looking very professional as soon as you all look at that person you see without he or she start speaking you keep mum and you just focus on the stage because you have analyzed now the person must be the speaker as he is well formed coming in formal means he is the very well known person he may give us very good information so you keep calm and you pay attention that is people see before they hear without that person say something you focus on that person on the stage that is you analyze people just by their appearance you look at them and you understand whether that is a boss, whether that is a manager, whether that is a worker, whether that is a follower, whether that particular person is a salesperson, from which category or let us say which religion that person comes because religion to religion our appearance changes. All right, then based on that person's uh, uh, the clothing and all aspects based on the cost of that clothing and those you decide whether that person can be rich, poor, middle class and so on. So, the appearance matters a lot and in appearance there comes lot of things for example, clothes and dressing based on that we decide what kind of person that can be whether a student, a teacher or a worker or let us say uh, the head of the department and so on. So, based on the clothes we decide whether that uh, person uh, is from which group or let us say even which religion sometimes even what role that person may be playing. Hairstyle that also matters, accessories and the ornaments that we are putting all the things for example, the smart watch I am having, the pen I am using, the shoes I am putting on, the belt and so many things the accessories for girls particularly the ornaments they are putting, the jewelry they are putting all that is nothing but the accessories or the ornaments which communicate something. Cosmetics of course, specs, shoes, wristwatch and so many things that is that comes in the appearance. So, that decides the personality that helps people to understand that particular person's personality based on that person's appearance. Now, one good thing about or one uh, new thing about this appearance is appearance it has changed from just a basic need to a medium of self-expression communicate communicates how we feel about ourselves and how we want to be viewed. Now, as we know we have just three basic needs that is getting a food, getting a shelter and getting the clothes. So, now this appearance the clothes has just changed from just a basic need. It is not the basic need now. It is a medium of self-expression. Why I put this particular coat? Why do I comb my hair so properly? Why do I uh, you know put on the smartwatch? Because I want you to look at me from that perspective a well-mannered person that's why I take care of all my appearance. So, it has become a medium of self-expression communicates how we feel about ourselves as well as how I want you to look at me I want myself be viewed by the society that's why appearance plays a greater role. Now, talking on this particular topic will take around one or two hours, but we are not going in more details here right now because it is just a basic uh, course on communication skills. Just it is enough to understand that appearance matters and appearance communicates. In our further courses on personality development and soft skills, we will talk more on the appearance. Just keep this in mind for now that appearance matters a lot. As a student, we have to take care of appearance and we should know which appearance absolutely suits to what occasion. Just an example going for the interview, 
the appearance expected is very formal you cannot go in jeans and t-shirt you cannot have headphones in your ears and go and uh, appear for the interview of course we don't do but definitely we have to take care of this all right here is a reflection spot for you now just pause the video and try to match the following images with the dressing styles given below so there are six images let us say or the six styles one to six just tell which number is representing which of these dressing styles smart casual business formal streetwear casual semi formal business casual just pause the video and looking at the appearance the clothing particularly of that guy match the dressing styles i hope you have come up with your answer and here is the key the first is streetwear very 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 informal okay streetwear just when you are at home or in your area you can have that second one is little casual okay not much formal or not even the streetwear third is business casual which looks good and which uh, you know attracts the attention of the other uh, people the fourth is smart casual it is casual but it is smart you are looking more professional a bit professional fifth is business formal coming in three piece with tie and the sixth one is semi formal where you are have, having half tie and you are being exhibited so like the just the, the just one example we have seen but this uh, uh, communication this appearance definitely plays greater role in our way of communication and in our self expression that's the end of lesson number 5 in lesson 6 we will talk more on the nonverbal aspect of communication particularly on kinesics that is body language thank you so much and see you in lesson number 6